Hi guys, my name is Baron Jepson and I'm going to attempt to do a tutorial and it's uh, to try and explain the differences in modelling from Blender to Cinema 4D. The tutorial that I'm going to take you through is an absolute blinder by a guy called Andrew Price who uh, runs Blender Guru. Now it's pained me for quite some time now that I've not been able to reproduce this in Cinema 4D and I thought I'd finally sit down and try and work it all out. It's not too complicated. This is the profile that if you go to the original tutorials Andrew will show you how to model. It's very simple, it provides uh, everything you need to produce this. The uh, textures and the profile image and the BMW logo are all provided by Andrew. So if you'd like to visit Andrew and maybe, you know, leave him some thanks for sharing. So what we do at this point after modeling this part of the profile, we produce a symmetry object, which is the mirror tool in Blender. We then need to duplicate this to create the entire profile of the tire. So in Blender they use the array tool. The workaround in cinema is using the clone tool which is probably too obvious for some people. So here we have it. Just switch off the bend tool. Switch it on. to our cloner, reduce it down to one. So that's our starting point, our first part of the profile, cloned 54 times. Then the bend deformer. If you look at the bend deformer, it's only the approximate size of our starting profile. Settings are set to unlimited with a strength of 6.945 degrees. Now, when you get to this point, you need to make sure that the two ends meet nicely and as closely as possible. Now, it looks like I've pulled a blinder here and I don't have any gaps or any overlap, but this was only achieved through experimentation. So if I just go through that, the stages, and this is approximately where you're going to be. Just keep adding to the profile. That's not good enough. Uh, put the four in, and there we go. That's where we have it. Even just one digit, and the gap is huge compared to where we need to be. So there we are, that's all, all you need to do to achieve a profile. When you render this out, you'll find you have lines in the profile. Now, I don't know of any other way to get rid of this by the workaround I've got, which does away with the cloner, unfortunately. So at this point, I then I did current state to object, Close that down. Current state to object. And now we have all our polygons here. Select them all. I usually just go and select everything. Uh, object. Connect and delete. Just rename that. Say a profile. Render again, and as you can see, we still have the lines. The only way to get rid of that problem I have found is to go into select my profile, functions, optimize. I've got it set quite high here, we probably don't need it that high, but it will ensure that all these points are welded together. Click OK. 
re-render and you'll find that the lines have entirely gone. This is now one entire structure. So if we select any part of it, you'll see it is fully attached. And that's the end of our first tutorial, the final result. There we have it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it uh, taught you something. Uh, it taught me something just working it through. And thanks for listening.